Okay, so before we start this video, I just want to say this is going to contain the following. Yowies, aliens, Bigfoot, Tasmanian tigers, Egyptians, UFOs, the Great Pyramids, and ancient civilizations. Because I wanted to create a, a YouTube short. Um, if you look on my channel, you see the type of shorts I like to do, little horror shorts. And um, I was researching a thing called Yowies, and I stumbled across um, this man called Rex Gilroy. Now, Rex Gilroy is this Australian outback adventurer who um, spent a lot of his years in the Australian outback, traveling all over, documenting um, you know, pretty much made-up creatures and ones that have existed for um, a really long time time now you're probably thinking well, well who cares about rex gilroy and you know why should you well that's because um you know for a long time in the 1960s rex gilroy was actually one of the predominant figures in cryptozoology who's studying and publishing things other than tasmanian tiger which went extinct in 1933 now you're probably asking yourself a few questions right now like what is a yaoi how do I get my hands on a copy of Rex Gilroy's Amazon bestseller book, Mysterious Australia? And how did Rex Gilroy get away with exploring the Australian outback for his entire life and not doing pretty much anything else? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain those things. So much occurs in Rex Gilroy's life that um, the video needs to be breaking down into three sections, okay? And obviously, we're going to have the beginning, the middle, and the end. Unfortunately, there is not much information publicly available about Rex Gilroy's childhood beyond his interest in the paranormal and unexplained phenomena. It is not clear what specific experiences or events may have led to his interest in these subjects. However, it is known that he has been actively researching and investigating interesting mysteries for many decades, and he has written numerous books and articles about the topics. He was born in 1944 in Queensland, Australia, and has been interested in the paranormal and unexplained phenomena since childhood. We first start to hear about Rex Gilroy publicly when Gilroy first gained public attention in the 1960s when he began investigating reports of unidentified creatures, including the Yowie and the Tasmanian Tiger. Gilroy published numerous books and articles on his research over the years, and he also appeared in various media interviews and documentaries. However, it's difficult to pinpoint the exact date or event when he first became known to the general public, as his work has been ongoing as he maintained a relatively low profile outside of the cryptozoology community. Rex is obviously best known as his research and an author and his work in cryptozoology, aka the study of animals that are rumored to exist but not have been scientifically proven yet. And this is just what we know about Rex's Gilroy's early childhood. There's not really one specific event that we can pinpoint to say, hey, this is why Rex spent his entire life hunting down yaoi's. Okay, and now for the middle, his early life in cryptozoology. Gilroy's interest in cryptozoology began in the 1960s, and he has since become one of Australia's most prominent figures in the field. He has traveled extensively throughout the country, interviewing witnesses and gathering evidence of alleged sightings of unknown animals. Some creatures he has investigated, as we stated before, include the Yowie, the Thylacane, aka the Tasmanian Tiger, and the Queensland Tiger. Rex Gilroy has a long-standing interest in the Tasmanian tiger, which was a large carnivorous marsupial that was native to Australia and Tasmania. The Tasmanian tiger was officially declared extinct in 1936, but there has been numerous reported sightings and unconfirmed reports of the animal's continued existence over the years. But wait, wasn't Rex born in 1944, and he didn't become well known enough and active enough in the field until he was roughly 24 years old, so that just confirms our suspicions on Rex being interested in the paranormal from an early age. We can see at this part of Rex Gilroy's life that he's actively searching animals that have proven track records and scientific data to back that up, that they have existed once in time, and he's not some just crazy loony bin searching for things that don't exist. He started out in the beginning searching for things that had proven eyewitness accounts. Gilroy spent many years researching and investigating these reports, and has written extensively on the subject of the thylacine. He has traveled to remote regions of Australia and Tasmania in search of evidence of the animal's continued existence. He has interviewed numerous eyewitnesses who have claimed to see in a tiger as well. In his research, Gilroy has examined a wide range of evidence including footprints, scat, hair samples that have been attributed to the thylacine, and many other things. He has also studied historical records and eyewitness accounts and has worked closely with other researchers and scientists who are interested in the thylacine. 
While Gilroy has not been able to definitely prove the continued existence of the Tasmanian tiger, he remains hopeful that the animal may still be alive and continues to search for evidence of its survival. His research and writings of the thylacine have helped keep the animal's memory alive and contributed to the ongoing discussions about the importance of conservation and protection for Australia's unique and threatened wildlife. Rex Gilroy also began his research on the Yowie, a legendary creature similar to Bigfoot or Sasquatch, in the early 1960s. This is also around the same time that Rex Gilroy was also researching the, his Tasmanian tiger sightings and going and interviewing them as well. He was initially inspired by a sighting of a mysterious creature in the Blue Mountains of New South Wales, Australia, and began investigating reports of similar creatures throughout the region. Rex was absolutely fascinated with the idea that there could be this large, unknown creature to still exist in the modern world. He dedicated much of his life to researching the Yowie and other cryptids. He collected eyewitness accounts, conducted expeditions into the wilderness, and analyzed physical evidence such as footprints and hair samples in efforts to prove the existence of this creature. Rex Gilroy's research during the 1960s to the 1980s was primarily focused on documenting sightings and encounters with the Yowie, um, as well as gathering physical evidence that could be used to support its existence. He also investigated reports of similar creatures from around the world in an effort to understand the broader phenomenon of unknown humanoids. Besides just his research in the field, Gilroy also worked to popularize the legend of the Yowie in Australia and beyond. He wrote numerous books and articles on the subject, and his work was featured in documentaries and television programs around the world. He also gave lectures and conducted public appearances, sharing his knowledge and experiences with audiences eager to learn more about the mysterious creature. Today, Rex has his own websites where you can find most of this information available. Rex seemed to be a prominent and respected researcher in the field of cryptozoology, but as of the 2000s, it seems like the world has just kind of forgotten about Rex Gilroy. Rex seemed to stay further and further away from real life animals with a proven histories as history went on for him. He was once somebody who was respected by his peers, but it seems like he has turned into somebody that chases fairy tales and tries to make the unbelievable believable. His work seems to be non-existent from the 1980s into the early 2000s, with Rex making an appearance on an Australian news television interview in the early 2010s. In his few YouTube videos that he posted, he seems to ramble on in a foggy state of a memory hastily bouncing from one subject to the next. And now, for the end. Overall, Rex Gilroy's research during the 1960s and 1970s played a key role in establishing the legend of the Yowie as an important part of Australian folklore and popular culture. His work has inspired generations of researchers and enthusiasts to continue exploring the mysteries of the creature and its place in the world of cryptozoology. In addition to his field work, Gilroy has authored numerous books on cryptozoology including Mysterious Australia, Giants from the Dream Time, and The Yowie Mystery. He has also been involved in the creation of several documentaries on the subject. In his books and articles published more recently, Gilroy has written about sightings of UFOs and other strange aerial phenomena in Australia and around the world. He has also speculated about the possible origins and purposes of these objects, as well as their potential connections to other unexplained phenomena such as cryptids and ancient mysteries. Based on his writings and research, it appears that Gilroy has always had an interest in UFOs, at least for the past several decades, but the exact starting point for his research on UFOs is still undetermined. As of January 19th, their last Facebook group post was about a meeting two days later on January 21st, that Saturday, for the Blue Mountains UFO Research Club and National Australian Underground Space Base Investigation Network. As of March 25th, Rex Gilroy was in the hospital on life support according to their official Rex and Heather Gilroy's Blue Mountains UFO Research Group Club. Is it a good idea for individuals to pursue research into cryptozoology and the study of mysterious creatures? Rex Gilroy's life and career offer us some valuable insights into this question. Born in Queensland, Australia, Rex Gilroy has been a predominant figure in the field of cryptozoology for many decades. His research into the elusive creatures such as the Yowie, the Tasmanian Tigers, and even the Bunny Yip has led him to numerous expeditions across the country and earned him a reputation as Australia's one of the most well-known and respected cryptozoologists. 
but Gilroy's work has also been controversial. Some have criticized him for promoting unproven theories and relying on anecdotal evidence to support his claims. Others have questioned the validity of his research methods and the scientific rigor of his findings. So where does all of this leave us? Is it worth pursuing research in the cryptozoology or is it a fruitless endeavor? On one hand, the study of mysterious creatures can be fascinating and reward pursuit. It can spark our curiosity and inspire us to explore the unknown. It can also lead to new discoveries and help us understand the natural world in new and exciting ways. But on the other hand, we must be cautious not to let our fascination with the unknown lead us astray. It is important to approach such research with a healthy dose of skepticism and rely only on empirical evidence rather than anecdotal stories and hearsay. In the case of Rex Gilroy, while some may question the validity of his research, there is no denying that he has made significant contributions to the field of cryptozoology. His work has helped shed light on the existence of mysterious creatures and sparked a broader interest in the study of the unknown. In the end, the decision to pursue research in cryptozoology and mysterious creatures is a personal one. It requires careful consideration, a commitment to rigorous scientific inquiry, and willingness to approach the unknown with an open mind. So let us honor Rex Gilroy's legacy by continuing to explore mysteries of the natural world, but let us do so with a healthy sense of skepticism and commit to scientific rigor. Thank you for joining me today. I wish you all the best in your own explorations of the unknown. If you're curious more about Rex Gilroy and his life and his work of cryptozoology, I'll have a link on to his website below. You can also find his Facebook group by just doing a little searching on Google. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you liked the video. Some people would look at Rex Gilroy today and they would call him a fool. They would call him a fool because he spent his entire life in the Australian outback running around searching for creatures that have been proven to not exist. You could also argue that Rex Gilroy not only wasted his own life but wasted other people's lives as well by convincing them to believe in something that could possibly not exist at all. It's interesting to see how Rex went from documenting and researching once scientifically proven creatures to seemingly going on a wild goose chase on monsters and myths. But when I look at Rex Gilroy, I like to look at Rex Gilroy and think about somebody who is brave enough to follow his passion without needing the approval of other people. You can just tell by the four YouTube videos that he has posted that it didn't really matter what the subject matter was, Rex Gilroy always spoke with a passion in his heart no matter what the topic was. I think we could all learn from Rex Gilroy in that way. The Great Yowie Hunter of the Australian Outback.